Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at duplicating a die into multiple dice. I had the chance to work with one of my friends on a video and I had to come up with a way to do this effect so I'm going to be showing you my setup on how to create this. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. I've gone ahead and I've locked this file node. That way you shouldn't have any trouble loading in this geometry. So I just have an unpack here because a geom this file is actually packed geometry. And then with this group, I'm just creating groups for all the little dots and that way I can assign the correct materials to the correct faces. And then after that, I've just packed it using an assemble node and make sure you have create pack geometry on because that's important. The reason why we're using pack geometry is because we're just dealing with points and that way we can just use pop nodes and that makes it so much easier if we want to emit or add more geometry into the simulation. The initial geometry is actually being created by the pop source node, not the uh, sop path right here, so we don't need anything going into here. If we click on this pop source node, you'll notice that we're, we have the emission set to geometry, and that way we're not emitting points. Let's hop into the sop solver, because this is where the duplication process actually takes place. So we need a way of duplicating the die every so often. We don't want it to happen on every single frame. We need a way of coming up with the age attribute and we can do that pretty easily if we know when the particle is created so I'm gonna create an attribute called birth which is when the particle was created and we can say that age equals the frame minus birth so or the current frame minus the birth time and that's gonna give us a, a value that increments as the particle grows in age so now that we have that we can move on down to the next attribute wrangle this is the, the this is the wrangle that actually creates a new point. So first, we're just creating um, a, a vector that has the position of the die because we don't want the we don't want the the um, what's it called the next point to be created somewhere randomly. We want it to be created right where um, our first die is. So we're going to grab the position of the current die, and then we're going to say if the age is greater than and then I've actually just put in a channel here so if it's greater than 10 then we're gonna add a new point into the simulation now one of the things that bullet asks for is an ID for each particle and so what we want to do is we want to have an ID for each die but we don't want it to be the same so we want like the first die to be ID 0 and then the next one to be 1 and then 2 and so there's a a cool neat little function of vex called n points which is just a number of that or the number of vex uh, the number of points and so we're going to say id equals the number of points from this node right here and since we're adding points once we once we add the second point then this value is going to be two so then that means the second die is going to have an id of two and so on now that we've created our new die we want to give it some velocity, some random velocity, and that way it splits off from the original die. And so I've just done that by using the attribute randomize node. And so I have one going to the W attribute, which is just the angular velocity. And then I also have another randomize going to V just for the regular velocity. So this is gonna give it some random spin and then some random velocity. And so that, that'll cause it to shoot out from the original low or the original location. And then I've just added a color. This is just to help visualize. And then I set the attribute to ID. And so that means every die is gonna have a different color based on the ID. So these nodes right here are all just the same as this right here because, oh, let me dive back in. We're, we're using copy to points. And so after we've created the new point, then we're just going to copy um, the die geometry onto that point. And then we're gonna merge it back with the original geometry from the dot simulation and then we're going to I just have a null without because I like I like ending my node change with, or my node chains with the out null oh yeah and there is one more thing that I wanted to add in this assemble node we've done a trick similar to uh, the ID we want each piece to be piece one two three and so on right and so we're using the same endpoints expression uh, it's a little bit, the format or the syntax is a bit different because this is age script and not vex, but it's essentially the same thing. It's grabbing the number of points and then saying, and then adding that value onto the word piece, so piece one, two, and three, so on. 
and that's that's pretty much the setup right there like I said all, all the fun stuff happens in the soft solver anyway I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching